Welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Jen Clayton Beauty. We do everything beauty and makeup and that includes an empties video every single month. Going over everything I used up in the previous month and I have a pretty full basket here from March. I'm going to give you speed reviews of everything I used up, let you know whether or not I would repurchase these items and why or why not. I will have all of my empties linked down below for you if you're interested in picking up any of the products for yourself. Click the link, buy the product, I'll make it really easy for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. Again, I'll link everything I share with you down below as well as my favorite beauty subscription boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you would like to shop this look, discounts to my favorite indie brands, and come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So let's jump in to all of my empties for March. Now you know I have a big makeup and skincare collection, so whenever I can get a good amount of empties for the month, it makes me really happy. One of my goals in 2024 is to go through the products that I have before purchasing more. And actually I've made a pretty good dent, especially in my skincare. I was able to downsize from two sets of drawers of skincare to one. So in my opinion, that's a pretty big accomplishment. So I'm always happy to see a basket of empties. So like I said, I'm going to dig in, pull a product out, give you a quick speed review, and let you know whether or not I would repurchase. So the first thing in my empties is a staple for me. This is from the brand Cinema Secrets and this is their makeup brush cleanser. I love this, I purchase this every time there's a Sephora sale. Speaking of Sephora sale, it is coming up April 5th. The Sephora sale starts April 5th for Rouge members and goes through the 15th. So I will definitely be picking up a couple more of the Cinema Secrets. I always buy the big one because it's the biggest bang for your buck. And this is, in my opinion, the best way to clean your makeup brushes. It cleans them with little effort and they dry instantly. So I really, really love this product. It's an absolute repurchase for me. Now another repurchase and another thing I always grab at the sale as well is the Sephora brand of the eye makeup remover. This is the best eye makeup remover. I want to say it's 12 or $13. This lasts me months. I buy one or two of these and it will last me at least six months. This is fantastic. It removes waterproof, eye makeup. It removes even waterproof eye makeup. It's so good. It's a huge container and an excellent price. So a definite repurchase for me. Then I finished up this little shampoo. I think this came in a subscription box. This is from the brand Grow Gorgeous and this is the Intense Thickening Shampoo. Did I notice if this thickened my hair? No. This is not a big enough container for me to know that. I have quite a bit of hair and this lasted me two washes. I do like the smell of it. I felt like it got my hair really clean but because it's such a small container. I wasn't able to know if the thickening agents of this worked. Let me know down below if you've tried Grow Gorgeous and if you found that it actually helped with thickening your hair. Overall, it was a good shampoo, so I probably would repurchase. Now, this is always a repurchase for me. This is from L'Oreal and this is their Root Touch-Up Spray in the shade Dark Brown. This is my favorite Root Touch-Up Spray. Listen, I'm 48. I have a lot of gray hair, especially up here on my scalp and on the sides over here. So I use a Root Touch-Up Spray between colorings. I wash my hair once a week and by applying this one time it will stay in my hair for the entire week. It's an excellent, excellent product. Helps to cover up those grays. Looks really natural. I've actually already repurchased. From the brand Fourth Ray Beauty, which is ColourPop skincare brand, this is the Bloom Service Rose Cleansing Balm. So this is a makeup melting or makeup cleansing balm. It has a very mild rose scent. If anything, it just smells like just like an oily balm. It doesn't really smell like rose, which I'm not mad about because I hate the smell of rose. This was a great cleansing balm. I really, really like this. ColourPop skincare line, Fourth Ray Beauty, is really nice quality and super affordable. So I would absolutely, absolutely repurchase this. I use a makeup cleansing balm every day. I always double cleanse. First with the cleansing balm, second with the cleanser. So this is a definite repurchase. I finished two sets of lashes this month. First is from the brand Ioni, which if you know, you know, this is the best eyelash brand and you can pick this up at your local Dollar Tree. This is the Book of 
Curses Lashes in Full Volume Flare. This was a little series that I only put out at Dollar Tree. Really, really good quality. If you can find these, grab them. These are $15, $20 lashes for $1.25. A staple for me, every time I go to Dollar Tree, I always purchase several pairs. And then the other pair I used up is from the brand Loha, and these are the Bros Over Bros lashes. That's a pretty cute name. And these are really pretty. A little bit more on the natural side. Loha lashes came in Lashy Box, which is a subscription I used to have. Once I go through all my false lashes, or if I'm not able to find Ioni, I will resubscribe. But both of these lashes are fantastic. I get asked a lot, how do I deem a lash to be used up? When I've used them three, four, five times and they become out of shape, hard to apply, or full of glue that I can't pick off, that's when they go into my empties. Speaking of cleansing and double cleansing, I finished the Murad Hydration AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. This is a fantastic cleanser. It does have those little exfoliating beads in it, so it just makes your skin feel nice and refreshed and exfoliated after a use. This is a big container. This lasted me a very long time. I really, really like this. It has no smell to it at all, and I would definitely repurchase. If you want a good exfoliating but gentle exfoliating cleanser that has AHA and BHA that you can use daily, highly recommend. We have a moisturizer used up in the most beautiful packaging. This is from the brand Farsali, and this is the Reset Renewal Liquid Cream. So this has that fun little pump up top. This is fantastic, and actually I looked this up because the component is so nice, I thought this has got to be expensive. It's not. This is actually an affordable moisturizer, and it's wonderful. I used this as my nighttime moisturizer, and I really, really liked it. Like I said, the component is really nice. I love the push-up top. I would definitely buy again. Now, the writing has worn off of this, but this is actually from the brand Real Her, and this is their luminizing setting spray. I really liked this setting spray. Very fine mist, but it applied but it made your skin look a little bit illuminated and glowy and dewy, which is my favorite type of setting spray. I really like this. In fact, I've liked a lot of the Real Her brand. It's definitely a brand on my radar. I would buy this again. I have some sample size products that I used up. I actually took a trip to San Diego. In March, I ran my very first 10K in San Diego. It was a big accomplishment for me, a big non-scale victory, and I used up some small travel size things on my trip. First is from the brand Bioma, and this is the Creamy Jelly cleanser. So Bioma is a drugstore affordable skincare brand. It's actually really nice and I enjoyed this cleanser. They make an amazing cleansing balm. If you want an affordable cleansing balm, definitely would check out the full size of that. And then from the brand Murad, I used up the little teeny baby eye cream. Now I know this is literally the smallest component ever, but it's an eye cream. So this actually lasted me a couple of trips. It's wonderful. It's very hydrating. I use this at night. I definitely would, again, check out the full size of that. And then I used up the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I always take a little mini cleansing water with me. This is what I actually use to remove my eye makeup while traveling. This is just too big, especially if I'm flying and I want to take only a carry-on. This is too big for the carry-on. So I love these little mini micellar waters for eye makeup remover. From the brand Well People, this is the Revitalizing Dew Eye serum. Now this came in a subscription box AOA, which is no longer a subscription box. Unfortunately, they would give you a whole box of one brand. So you could try multiple products from the brand. Well, one of them was from Well People and that's where I got this eye serum. I didn't love this. I finished it. I used it as my daytime eye serum. It's definitely a serum like consistency, but I didn't notice any benefits of it. It hydrated my eyes, which was great, but it's just not something I was impressed with, so I would not repurchase. Then from Bondi Sands, this is their Glow. So this is a liquid illuminizer in the shade Gold Lights. I mix a liquid illuminizer in with my foundation every day. Again, I love dewy, I love glowy. This was really, really nice. Now, this did not last me very long. This would be, this would last a lot longer if you used it just to tap on your cheeks as a highlight or on your decollete to add a little bit of glow. But I liked this mixed in with my foundation. It didn't Effect, how my foundation applied and it gave me a really pretty luminosity. I don't know much about the price point of this product. There's a lot of drugstore liquid illuminizers that I like, especially from the brand NYX. There's a really good one. There's also a really nice one from Melt. So I don't know if I re would repurchase. It kind of depends on the price point. As always, I finished up a Dossier fragrance. I use up at least one every single month. This is in the scent Powdery Peach. 
It's very fruity with a little bit of floral and a little bit of musk. Dossier actually replicates high-end fragrances. So I like to buy one or two every month and I use these when I go to bed or when I go to the gym or when I'm staying at home and I just want to smell good. I'm someone that honestly applies fragrance every day, whether I leave or not, but I save my high-end perfumes for special occasions or when I'm going out and about and then I utilize Dossier the rest of the time. So I t like I said, I typically go through one every month. I will link Dossier down below with a 5% discount for you. From the brand Tula, this is the So Pumpkin Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. This smells amazing. It is like pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice deliciousness. This is a probiotic and superfood exfoliator. So I kept this in my shower and when I would wash my face, I would exfoliate with this product. I really like this. You can actually exfoliate with this and then leave it on your skin and it will serve as a mask as well. It smells amazing. It did a great job exfoliating my skin. Love this, would definitely repurchase. And then I finished up my favorite under eye setting powder. I actually just finished this today. This is from e.l.f. and this is the HD Glow setting powder and I get mine in the light pink tinted shade. This is the setting powder I use to set my under eyes. It is the only setting powder I use to set my under eyes. It doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles. It adds a nice lightness to my under eye without making it look white or have a white cast. Love this, it's $6. I will repurchase. I actually just pulled it back up from my stash and put it in my vanity. Highly, highly recommend this for your under eye setting powder. And speaking of powder, I also finished up the AOA Perfect Setting Powder. This is the dollar setting powder from the shop Miss A brand. Love this setting powder. It blurs the skin like nobody's business. I want to say it's a dollar or a dollar 25. It's so affordable. I love it. It sells out all the time. Stay tuned. I have a full face of cheap makeup coming out shortly, but I can't recommend this powder enough. I actually ordered three of them. So I definitely would repurchase. Next up is a lip oil from Lunar Beauty. Lunar Beauty makes one, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite lip oils. It smells like strawberries. It has the most beautiful component. It has a diamond at the top. This lip oil is fantastic. The longevity is so, so good. I have went through several of these. I actually just bought a new one when he released his newest collection. Stay tuned. I'm doing a video on that. The collection arrived yesterday and I did buy another lip oil because I truly love it that much. Truly one of my favorites. This and the new e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I'll link the e.l.f. for you as well. So, so, so good. Next up is from Pure Lease. This is the Pineapple, Pineapple Bright Gel Cream. So this is a gel moisturizer that smells delicious. Fruity, fresh, so pineapple. This is a great daytime moisturizer. It is a gel-like consistency, so it goes on really beautifully, sinks into the skin, is beautiful under makeup. I really like this. I've actually repurchased this already and I would definitely buy this again. It's affordable, it smells amazing, and it is a fantastic daytime moisturizer. Speaking of Shop Miss A Cheap Makeup, their lip oil is also really good. This is from the brand I Heart Do, and this is the, again, Shop Miss A AOA lip oil. It smells kind of like vanilla cake. I really like this one as well. I will say that the longevity of this isn't the same as the Lunar Beauty or the Elf, but again, I think it's a dollar, a dollar fifty-five. So if you're buying the powder on the Shop Miss A website, add one of these to your cart because it is a really good lip oil. Just be prepared to have to reapply a little bit more often. We have another skincare product from LYS. This is their Think Bright Glow Serum. I actually got this in a subscription box. I had two of them. I finished them both now. Love this for the daytime. It's the, my, was my daytime serum. I applied it before my moisturizer and before my sunscreen and it did give a really pretty glow to the skin. Very hydrating. Again, layers beautifully under makeup. I really enjoy the LYS brand and you can pick it up right, you can pick it up on Sephora so you can utilize the Sephora sale for this as well. From Essence, I finished up the Baby Got Bronze Cream Bronzer. Let me just tell you how good this smells. I just want to smell it all day. It smells so fruity. This is a fantastic cream bronzer. Fantastic. It blends out beautifully. It sinks into the skin. I love this. It's so affordable. It's from Essence. I bought mine at Ulta. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be buying this again. As soon as I go through my other cream bronzer products, this is probably one of my favorites. So it will absolutely be a repurchase. And then last but not least, we have another makeup product. This is from Cab Cosmetics, and this is the felt tip eyeliner. 
I literally hate this eyeliner. <laughs> I hate it. It is so dry. It does not go on smooth at all. It You have to pull and tug it to create a wing or to apply your eyeliner. It was a lot of work. It is just not a good product. I actually received a two pack in a subscription box. I'm going to go ahead and just discard the other one because it's just not a good product. It's very dry. It is not opaque. It's not deep. It's not dark. You have to work really hard to get a patchy line hate it. Absolutely hate it. To be honest, Cap Cosmetics is just not a brand that I love. So no, 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 I will not be buying this again. So those are all of my empties from March. I feel really good about everything I used up. Most of it I really enjoyed. There's a few fails, but most of the products are holy grail staples for me, things I would repurchase. Love a lot of these things. So again, everything will be linked down below for you. If you enjoyed another empty shop my stash, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week and I will be putting out that full face of cheap makeup. You're not going to want to miss it. Spoiler alert, I was very surprised at how that look turned out. So definitely subscribe and turn your bell on. Check out the description box for all of my empties, my favorite beauty boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you would like to recreate this look and come follow me over on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. That's a wrap on March empties. Thank <laughs> you.